Hi, Chris Shank here to discuss the track alignment procedures and the first day of taking the machine home. Uh, so when we hook up the machine at the dealership, that's going to be the first time it's going to be eroded. So we're going to be checking tension on the track, driving slowly, paying attention to our track preconditioning, our heat inspections on our surfaces of the tracks and in the rollers and the idlers, also the uh, alignment of the overall track. So when we hook up to the tractor the first time, we need to make sure that the bulk fill and the fertilizer are empty. We're going to go in the tractor, energize our frame remote, which is on the red circuit, to tension the tracks. As we go through, we're going to stop every half hour and then we're going to check the temperature on the inside and outside of our components or our temp gun on the idlers and the uh, inside and outside of the drive lugs. I'm looking for less than a 30 degree temperature differential between those surfaces left and right and then it staying below 150 degrees Fahrenheit on those surfaces as well. And then we're also going to apply our conditioning material, our dry lubricants again, our, our floor dry, kitty litter, dirt, talc, graphite to keep the tracks in condition as well as the idlers and rollers. Then I'm going to start, start going again. If I see that my adjustment as far as my track alignment is off, first I'm going to check toe in. Then I'm going to come through and check alignment of the track within the frame itself. And I can adjust that track frame via the screw here and the one on the inside when I need to realign the tracks. Now we're going to take a look at the toe in. We're going to check the toe in every 100 hours or when we see uneven heat distribution between our track lugs and our, our uh, idlers. Preparation to go through and check the toe in is put the machine on level ground, rephase the cylinders via the display in the tractor, run with an empty planter, and lower the toolbar all the way to the ground to, to remove as much weight off the undercarriage as possible. So we took a look at our center timing marks on the outside of the track, both on the left side and, and the right side and then we're going to measure pin to pin on our cylinders from here to here, both on our, on our right cylinder as well as our left cylinder. And then we're going to take a look at our measurement from our idler bolts front and rear, and we want to stay within a quarter inch difference between our front and rear measurement, ideally zero. After we get that adjusted on our cylinders to get to that ideal zero, we're going to pull ahead 100 feet and recheck all those steps. Another area to take a look at for maintenance is our bolt torque on the idlers as well as the sight glasses for oil level in them. For more information on the track undercarriage, please contact your Case IH dealer or reference your operator's manual.